Today we are back with Avni Singhvi. Avni's design experience ranges from architectural design to interiors for standalone apartments to luxurious villas in uh, the highest budgets. Without much ado, I leave it to Avni now to take the session forward. We all love colors, and we would like uh, those colors to be a part of our home. What is a color wheel? When you look at colors like reds, yellows, oranges, they provoke a feeling of warmth within you. Let's also talk about what are the different types of paints that you have and the different types of finishes. So let's look at some different properties in paints that are also functional. We have seen a lot of distemper paint, right? So it's a cost-effective house paint commonly known for whitewashing walls in Indian homes. Metallic paints, like it says in the name, contain tiny particles and metal. Satin finished paints have a nice, silky, soft sheen effect on them. VOCs, that is your volatile organic compound. Now these does not, uh, these do not allow bacteria to grow on the walls. Emulsion paints, these types of paints are widely used in our interiors. It renders a rich effect and has excellent durability. Now, if you want to create a feeling of spaciousness in an environment, the best method is to use a lot of light colors on all the walls and the ceiling. So, this will reflect a lot of natural light and make the whole space to appear larger. And what if you want to make the space wider? Well, places like bedrooms or meditation rooms are spaces where you want to uh, go relax and you want to feel uh, calmness, right? So for these kind of spaces, you could always go ahead with cooler colors. Now, uh, if you have a lot of sunlight, you could always go for stronger shades. You could also pick the kind of colors that you want depending on the kind of furniture that you have. When you use a lot of incandescent lights and LED lights, it complements your cool colors. So let's look at some creative wall paint ideas. Now Pantone has uh, announced the color of the year as grey and yellow and they say it that it's hope for the future. So I'd like to end this with a quote that color can be your most powerful design element if you use it effectively. Okay, so thank you so much Avni. Uh, thank you. It was fun.